Huh? Nice day to load corn in Alaska today. <laughs> Alaska, yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, well, yeah. we got another farm, our north farm up in Alaska here. <laughs> Today's Monday. It is a really nice day. Mm, not really. This is a little breezy. We're gonna go. Uh, oh. We're gonna go rescue Dane. Well, not rescue, but we're gonna give him a somewhere to hang out when we're loading trucks here. It only takes about seven minutes to load a truck, but. When the wind is blowing 30 mile an hour, she's a little, little chilly. There he is. Oh, scared him. Scared my dumbass. I suppose now you gotta run over there. Yeah, now I'm out. Here I only roll, I only loaded three trucks. Hey, I've been coming over to help to give you a nice warm place and everything. <laughs> He's a professional. Right on the money. Huh? Nice day to load corn in Alaska today. Alaska, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, well, we got another farm, our north farm up in Alaska here. <laughs> I think I was going to put my shorts on this morning. I thought you had your coveralls on. No. Oh. I got my long johns on. Oh. I knew better. I'll go in there, you holler at me, and I'll okay. pull it ahead. And you can sit in there and just wave at me, you know. Maybe back up. Get my fat body in here. Oh, all right, that's where he wants it. Woo! Hey guys, you see him on the board? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just coincidence, it's the windiest day of the season. Yeah, and I and, get to load all three trucks. And Mark had... <laughs> <laughs> I had... Uh, <laughs> furnace problems. <laughs> <laughs> the wind's supposed to die down. I think it's at freaking 50, 60 mile an hour yeah, or something. At least. It's, yeah. It's kind of wild. Be we're, a good day to fly a kite. We're, oh, yeah, you wouldn't have a string. You wouldn't have a kite left. She'd go right <laughs> off. The, uh, we're not used to this type of wind. We usually don't get this kind of wind around here with all the trees and stuff. Can you imagine? Oh, North if I was out in the valley. Oofta. That'd be... That's what, that's what makes them people uh, tough, though. Yeah, I don't think the grain would be uh, hitting the trailer. <laughs> I think she'd be blowing right past it. We'd have to lower it down. Yeah, we'd he, have even that. right now, it wants to it a little bit. It moves a lot. Yeah. Well, I'll, you just sit here and wave at me then. Yeah, he'll load the last truck now. That, little, that last little bit. <laughs> Better hurry up. We're having another heat wave. We're having a heat wave. Yeah, back up, Bobby. There we go. <laughs> we're there. Well, it looks like we're really loaded good. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie, couldn't make it over to the bin fast enough. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be heavy. Well, at least it's Stephanie's truck. Yeah. She can pay the ticket. Yeah. So the race trailer come home last night, huh? After the race, Steve wanted to put the sleds back in the trailer. Had to be at the border by 8 o'clock. Well, then it was raining up there and it got a little chilly. He said they got pretty icy, so they had to slow way down. Well, that set him back, you know? Yeah. And uh, I said, okay, if you get to the piney turnoff, you got 12 minutes. 
to get to the board. He said he was Ricky Bobby and her pretty hard. <laughs> and uh, and he said he come around the corner, took her big and wide, you know, as fast as he said. The sleds are probably upside down, he said, in the trailer. <laughs> but he got to the border and they were just getting ready to swing the gate. Oh, and no. She, the gal there says, you made it by 15 seconds. Oof, <laughs> But he got one last race in with us. He got the race to race rig. Yeah, he got the race to race. He said he had her, had her to the forge. He said she didn't have any more. He said. <laughs> Off to the elevator. What we're doing here now is this corn is going to Greenbush. We got a Canadian bit there. Trucks from Manitoba come down and pick it up and then haul it up to uh, feed mills. So this is a nice way of uh, you know moving some of that corn further north since we're, uh, we're up by the border anyway. You know, there's nothing uncommon. It's been done for quite a few years. We got quite a bit going up there. And then we got quite a bit going out the PMW, which is, uh, well, that's the corn that we're hauling down to Hazel. Dump there. Well, that's all I got for today. Okay, so we're gonna show these nice folks. You got that light. These, this is the reason why we're going through this stuff. Yeah, this is the tailings, tailings elevator. We're replacing the sprocket and the bearings up here, but... There's the bearings. They sound good, probably last another yeah. 10 hours. Yeah. Well, it makes it worth it when you find stuff like that. Right. But then it makes you wonder, <laughs> how's this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's greasable. Yeah, it's the sealed bearing. It's all the sealed bearings. You know, they don't have a light. They only got a life expectancy mm -hmm. And it ain't as long as them greasable ones. Oh, and by the way We got this guy Ivan's back for the summer Woo! After he both cut his finger off. Yep, but he's healed up and good to go Where are you going to the moon? You sat in the bathroom for half an hour, and now you were... I brought the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take you with over to Mr. Walls. So we are heading over to Dennis's. Right, Dennis? Yeah, yeah. Heading to Dennis's. And get the drawbar for the Steiger that he welded up. Just leave the plow on or take it off? You're going to need it tomorrow. You think we're going to get snow? Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me let me hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have to Probably it. about three inches. How can you tell which way the wind is out of when, when your finger does this? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me check the... You just point it the other way. <laughs> Why don't you just get closer? That'd be a lot nicer. Well, that's okay. I'll make Dean here to have you. <laughs> I saw no vice here, god dang it. There's no way to get wounded up. Then he scars her in the Oh, you nice. did a nice job on her. How the hell you Were got... you able to use the steel we give you or not? Yeah, that's yeah, the pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Alright, we'll get yeah. out of your hair. Well, here we are, we're at Hanson's. Gonna, gonna pick up the semi, I did a alignment on it. Let's see who's here. Who's this guy? <laughs> Corey! Oh, <geez. laughs> so the alignment ain't done yet. Or the alignment's done, but they're, uh, what, they're switching some tires or something? Yeah. Ooh, this one's kind of cool.
What are you thinking? Is that because of the, the, the tire itself? Well, I don't know so much if it's a tire or because this thing was out of pretty much out of alignment. It was out of Yeah, but it's it's the same all the way around. It's yeah, it's uh, a manufacturer it's, defect, I bet. And it's possible. I don't know who what brand is it. Well this this thing is only made a few trips. So as you can see here guys, Rodex. the outside lip here is higher yeah. than the than the inside. Very good either, Mark. So, oh, that's the. Uh, you'll hear it? You can see that, right? Yeah. Well, this is the one they said would go woo, 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 woo. You know, that's, that's, that's your hopping right here, I bet. Yeah. But I don't like these because they don't have the, uh, what do you call it, the wear on the wear groove on here. That helps with the cupping, you know. I'm going to show everybody how this works. 4918, what that so, means. 4918. Is it the 49th week of year 2018 is when this tire was made. So it gives you an idea of how old the tire is. Well, the tire is old. The tire is old, yes. Yeah. Um, a, a recap, or the comp tire companies won't take anything that's five years old or older because they're worried about the sidewalls <coughs> blowing out, you know. But every tire has this on there um, on one side, one side only. Okay. And um, if it's ever been recapped, It'll have a stamp that has it right in this area, the year that it's been recapped. You know, so. so what he's saying is, if you guys ever want to know how old your tires are, on one side of the tire there's gonna be a number like this, and then, and then that 49th week, 49, 2018. Okay, so that'd be the 49th week of 2018. So this tire was a 2018. I never knew that. Yeah. Okay. Well, but how bad was the alignment? The pole was off 28 degrees. You have the printout for you guys to see? That's what it looked like when I started. This picture here is your front axle. And then this is the after one, right? No. Oh, that's the so this, is, this is the rear axle. Okay. The front axle, the front steer axle before the alignment. This is after I got done with the alignment. So we kind of go by the middle numbers here. Okay. Uh, and then now you're boom, boom. See how the arrow is? This is where you want to put it. This thing's dead on. You know. I don't want to hear any more complaining, Dave. <laughs> I won't as long as it goes straight down the road. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take a trip down memory lane here. Yeah. <laughs> 15 years we had this thing in the woods. You, you bought it bought it with a couple other trucks. Yep, yep. And then it was sitting yep. sitting out in the weeds and you pull it in and you're gonna get her going. And, and I don't even think we put fuel in the tank. And and that brake was locked up. I hooked it up to the payloader with a chain, pull started it, and like 30 feet the thing started right up. This Jeez. thing was 15 years of sitting. What is that? 400 <laughs> Cummins? This is a caterpillar. Right oh, here. it's got uh, a captain. Yeah. What year so, is it? 88. 88. We took all the inner outer wheels off and uh, hubs. Put them in. Yeah. So all the hubs are new, the outside wheels are new. We're going to cut the frame. This is where we've been talking. So you're going to lengthen it out? I think so. Yeah. Uh, we've never done one before, but I talked to the guys at Burt's. And they say they add on to the end and then move these wheels back. Okay. And then put a whole new 20 foot length on each side. So if it's a show truck, mm -hmm. it all looks one, like what yours does. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I don't know if that was extended or not, but you double framed for a little bit, so I'm thinking it probably was. Dane, I'll just get a fleet of these. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> it's for sale. Is it? You need to buy it. <laughs> I would, too. You, you don't know Greg long enough. Everything's for sale. Yeah, these are kind of cool. You want to see the inside? I'll give you the Dane. Dane, step back into 1988. That's a big dog house. That's a big sleeper. This is the breeder bunk. <laughs> oh, 
is cool. She's bought in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. All well, the boys got big plans for it, but we got the tires put on. Ended up putting two new ones on. I don't know if I said that earlier. I decided to go with the BFs. A lot better tire. Dane's gonna put his shiny thing on. Get her started. In. Woo, now she's complete again. Just couldn't sleep at night because I know, of that. It bothered me too. <laughs> when I see it go by and only one cap. Uh, oh, so, hey, how did they do? Perfect. Nice job. How would you Great rate as a grizzly? How would you rate your customer experience? <laughs> uh, well, let's be honest. Let's say uh, 10 out of 10. That was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what they're doing. Good boys. All right. Special yeah. delivery. Getting yeah. parts. Yep. Thank combine you. parts, right? All for the combine? Yep. A whole bunch of goodies. Ah. Just the two boxes? Oh, you got a roll of Ooh. something. What's this? It's interesting. What's inside? Tooth. Deals. Oh, it's these? Yeah. And you got a bunch of random stuff, huh? All kinds of goodies. Yes. It's just like Christmas. That's gotta be my sprocket. I'm looking for that big sprocket. I can put that on. There it is. Oh, you so excited? <laughs> oh, that's for the um, clean auger, or the... Clean drain. Clean grain auger, right? Did you have the old one? Yep. Where's that? You should show them. On the table. We'll show you the one that was in there. How worn out it is. We can find it here. So this is what's going on. See this here? The sprocket is wearing. It's hooking. It's not terrible, but it's time. All right. Thursday today. Dane and I are in the shop. Being. There's me. <laughs> so we figured we'd give you guys an update of what's going on in the shop. We still have the Steiger in here and the International. The International is just waiting for a new buyer. Steiger, we're still waiting on our steering cylinders. Mark is on a road trip today, so I think he's picking those up. And Dennis got our draw bar done. And we got a couple rolls of hose for the air drill for our primary hose. And 780, that's all done. Except for still waiting on new concaves. And then we can put them in and put all these shields back on. And this combine will be done. And then it's just the corn header left on that one. Then we have the 690. Lots of stuff. So, where do we start? I think we just start somewhere. And some of it will be overlap. I don't know what we've showed and what we haven't, but. And this is our clean grain auger. That had broke at some point in time. So we welded, welded all that back together. Did I even change oil in our reverser gearbox here? And then, obviously, we checked all our gearboxes and all our fluids and changed changed filters, changed engine oil. A lot of the fluids in the gearboxes I changed last year. So, most of those didn't need anything. New unloading chain. Checked all those bearings. New unloading drive belts. This machine is getting new concaves also. Here's another thing I found. Mm -hmm. Just can't really see that good. There is a crack there. But I can't find the end of it. I think I'm maybe just better off leaving that alone rather than trying to weld it. This is the rotor. I think we've been in here before, but these augers 
the backlash on this side, that's about normal. And you'll see the difference on the other side when we get over there. Another thing we decided to do was replace these bearings on the cleaning fan just to avoid a disaster as if those come apart this fan is gonna explode and not be much fun to replace so put a new bearing in this shoe drive on this side we did the other side during harvest and when I took that apart found these eccentric arms this arm is cracked and these, these bearings here are kind of rough so new bearings new plates new bearings on both ends of these this is the clean grain auger this would be the uh, tailings auger that's getting a new bearing on this end got our chopper two speed rebuilt and back on you saw that last week went through our chopper and then our new tailings elevator chain and all new bearings had this re-thrasher chain off, I've checked all this, 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 all the bearings feel good in that. There is some paddles up in here in this re-thrasher and they were starting to get rounded off so took and flipped all them. New clean grain elevator chain, bearings, same thing on this side with this shoe drive. Eccentrics, it's cracked there, same spot as the other one, yep. New arms over here. New bearings. Okay, I'm up at the feeder house here. Haven't got into this yet because we still have the corn head on, so we need to dump the header off for this. But this one's getting a new drive chain again this year. And last year I took the took the last half link out of the feeder house conveyor chain. That's the chain that's inside of here that brings the product into the machine. Took the last half links out last year so now it gets a new one this year also going to replace the drive sprockets for that chain and the bearings on that shaft okay so this is up inside this rethrasher these are those plates that I flipped now, now you can kind of see what that does Ta -da. All right. so now we're up in the back end and there's that discharge beater. Took the drive belt off of it so I could spin it. And I flipped all these plates on this. Uh, let's see. You can see this side is half rounded off. And this side is flat, so flipped those. Then, with all that GMO dust falling down. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Then I was up in here looking. I suppose I gotta crawl in there again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this frame right here. This is the chaffer frame and this is the sieve frame. And the front of this chaffer frame has some cracks. So it looks like we get to pull that out. And in order to do that, this stuff has to come off. The chopper and these doors and whatnot. I'll crawl up in here and see if I can show it. The things we do for this. <laughs> I can't hardly really get in there. I don't know if you can see this. But right here, there's a vertical crack running right here. And it's like that on both sides. Pretty common problem, I guess. <laughs> Things you do for staff, huh? I guess. <laughs> okay, so if you want to roll that auger on the other side. Okay. We're on the back side of this auger now. The augers, augers are on the end of that gear. And then these are the gears that drive them. And so Dane's up there, he's going to turn them augers. We'll see if we can see this. So you can see, you can see that gear turning separate from the shaft. It's moving on its keyway. So 
That all has to come out. And there's bearings there. Bearings here, bearings there. And it's not in a very fun spot to get up. I took the axle out of this side so I could get up in this little hole here. And I can get to the bearing on the driver's side of the combine, but <clears throat> over on this side on the drive right up there. I don't know, never done this before, but there is kind of a plate there, so hoping when that plate comes off that we'll get some movement so we can get that shaft out. And then it's a matter of if the shaft is going to clear our tracks. Yeah, we might have to take some of this extra framework maybe off. Yeah. It might not be that bad, but it could be really bad. We only maybe have to come out a little ways and then go back that way. You can maybe we'll be able yeah. to swing it in and go back in. Right. It's getting to be too much stuff here. We got stuff everywhere. <laughs> and we can't go back in with half of it until we do until we get that that frame out the back and get that back in, then we can start going back together with everything. So we're getting everything pulled apart and trying to trying to stay organized with stuff. So you try to kind of keep those parts there and those parts there and those parts there and all your new parts, trying to keep those labeled and separate, and it kind of gets confusing. So no hauling today for us. Last night we got rain, and then on top of the rain we got snow, and it got pretty icy. So the roads were not good this morning. So shop day today, mainly for Daner and Bo, but I supervise. Yeah. Make yeah. sure they're doing it all right. We only got hollered at twice. That's not bad for an eight hour day. I'll show them the ice. No, it's better if you walk around and I'll hold the camera. Hold it's funnier. I'll fall down. I want to watch you fall down. That's the point. Give them a tutorial on how icy it is. <laughs> Strong like bull, dumb like chicken. You can't retire without me though, so when you go, you just throw that pipe at me. <laughs> <laughs> Friday today. Mark and Stephanie and Boyd are out hauling grain today. Road's kind of cleared up. Mark got back from his field trip. I don't know if you can tell what's on the trailer there or not, but that's what he picked up yesterday. And Dane is in the shop again. We were building earlier. We built this stick for the forklift. This is for lifting that chaffer frame out of the combine. It slides on your pallet forks. About 14 feet long. Made this bracket here and that'll bolt bolt up to our chopper frame. So we got to get this chopper off here yet and stuff before we tackle that but before that we got to get the stagger out of the way. So Dane is getting his bench press reps in today. Yeah. So Mark he picked these up on his way back yesterday. They're at Grand Forks welding but they they put new sleeves in here. Uh, let's see if I can see here. They did an all right job, I think. We need to we need to get in here with the forklift bow. Take all this off. But that's in our way. And we can't move it because Mark left the key on. So our batteries are dead. It's Friday, it's damn near quitting time. And here we are. Well, Bo, it's Friday, it's quitting time. Yep, I don't think we can do much more. Nope. We gotta wait for the batteries to charge and that'll be... Monday. At Monday, uh, at best. <laughs> so, that's about all we got for you. Laters.